Peggy 7. The idea for Wonderbook started many years ago in the early days of um, PlayStation 3. We had some technology for tracking markers, usually a, a pattern on a, on a card, and there were two game concepts in the running. One was a virtual pet and one was a, an augmented reality book. We started with iPet because it only really involved tracking one marker. Then as iPet started ramping down, we looked at, well, how, we've made the technology now, so can we reuse this to, to create the book? And if you, if you look at a wonder book, you'll notice that this same kind of marker design is repeated across each of the pages. And so this core technology on iPet formed the foundation for the technology on Wonderbook. We often describe it as looking in a magic mirror. So you look at the TV screen, you see everything, but all these other amazing things can come out of the book. The technology tracks the book. A good analogy is you have signals coming in through your eyes that your brain interprets and makes sense of, so you can see a person or an object. And that's what we're doing in Wonderbook. The signal comes in to the camera and we analyze it to look for the book and track it and then superimpose the graphics. With iPet, all we had to do was track and recognize this one marker. And also because it had a handle on the back, it meant that no one ever sort of put their hand in front of it because you held it from behind. This book is more than just a bunch of markers stuck together. You can occlude two pages while you've got the markers there and it still works. You can turn a page and occlude a marker and it still works. You can see where the book is underneath the pages that don't even have a marker on and create a fully augmented experience for the entire book. Wonderbook really fitted into becoming a spell book and of course the move controller naturally became your wand. They're very simple user interfaces, very one-to-one -one movements. This whole idea, you're a wizard, uh, you need a magic wand and a spell book. It was a match made in heaven. You've actually got a book in your living room. You're actually sitting there as a family together around a book that comes to life. That's never been done before. It allows players to actually role play, to actually become part of the experience. And of course in the Book of Spells that means you becoming a wizard. Yeah.